Welcome back to another episode of Paint Society. In this episode, I'm gonna show you how a simple camera on your cell phone can help you get a better paint job. Don't overthink it, it's just paint. And thanks once again for joining me on this episode. My name is Brian, and if you're new to Paint Society, this is a channel where we help do-it-yourselfers, beginners, and well, even people that have been in the trade for years. This is where we come to learn all together. Here's what we got going on here. This is a Tri-Coat Performance Red, and it is actually a silver base with a red tinted mid-coat, not a clear coat. In our system, it is a lot easier. It's treated just like a white pearl. We repaired a dent that was on a quarter panel right over here, and I need enough space, so I went go ahead and go into the door here. You want to give yourself as much room as possible when doing one of these. In this episode, I'm going to show you how the cell phone camera is going to help you get a better end result. And before we start using the camera trick, what we're going to do is take a look at what we have. We're going to go ahead and seal that, make that one color, and make sure it's all protected before we put down our base. All right, so that's gonna be one coat right there. We're gonna let that flash for a few moments. If it was just a little bit better covering, then we would just leave it, but it's a little bit transparent there on the edge, so we're gonna let it flash for a few moments. What we'll do is we'll come over to the bumper cover, which we're blending as well, and we'll do the same thing over here. Now back over here, we'll put one more light coat on. Then right away, I'm going over with my clear base or my blending additive just to make sure everything is nice and smooth. And just like that, you don't need to do the whole entire door. Of course you can if you want, but as long as you go over here, everything's gonna be smooth. Let's let this dry for a good 10 minutes and then we'll come back and we'll start doing our base coat. And it's all flashed off and it's ready for the base coat. This is the light silver metallic that is the base. The red tint comes after this. When you're doing something like this, as I mentioned earlier, you're gonna need room. Don't try to keep it small. So for this, we're just gonna put it on lightly And we're gonna walk away. We're gonna let this flash. You can see that it is a totally different color. That is because it is just the base. So don't get scared. Over on our bumper, the same thing. All right, for our second coat now, we're gonna take it a little bit further and a little bit more of a distance, all right? So before, we were about maybe three inches. I'm gonna take it a little bit further and just kind of fan it on. And I'll do the X way. And you kind of just watch it disappear, right? Just kind of watch it completely just go away, all of the red sealer underneath. About 10 minutes later, this is what it looks like, and this is when I start to use my camera. Why? The camera will pick up the blend better than your eye, okay? For whatever reason, that camera or any camera you have will detect a blend, okay? So sometimes you'll look at it and you'll be like, wow, I can see a line right in here, or ah, I can see it from the side because you're never really gonna see the blend looking at it straight. You're gonna see it from the side, whether it's from the front or whether it's from the back. If you don't do it properly, you'll see like a hard line. So this is when I start to look at my camera. And right now I'm looking at my camera and I don't see anything noticeable. Although it is the base, it does not match. I'm gonna show you right now a little trick to help it blend even better. So what I'm gonna do here is there's no science, okay? I'm gonna take a little bit of my base, just a little bit. I would say at least 
25% uh, of the whole mix, right? So if I'm mixing four ounces, it would be one ounce, all right? That's not one ounce, but you get the idea. And then I'm gonna put about 75% of the red tint in. And what I'm gonna do is just do one coat over the whole entire area. Now, what is this going to do for me? This is going to really start to hide my blend even better. And then from there, we'll do the straight up mid coat. Now, when I go to blend, I'm gonna take it a little bit further than my leading edge here. I have extra slow reducers, so I'm not using any blending additive or clear base or any wet bed. And that's it. It's starting to blend in a little bit better. We're ready now for our straight up red mid coat. With our straight up mid coat, we'll extend it to around here on the first coat. And by the time we're done with our blend, we'll be in and around here. Do you see how much space it takes to get down a perfect blend when you're using these red um, candy coats, I guess you could say, or red three stages? You need the room. All right, just after that first coat, we can see it's starting to turn a little bit watermelony, starting to get where we need to. Now, the worst thing you can do right now is stack your color. Do not stack your color, meaning do not put on another coat right now. You're gonna be putting on maybe five coats more of this if you keep on doing it right after you're done with the last one. Give it time to dry. That will build up a surface for yourself, and then the next coat will lay down and cover much better. Go ahead now and smash down our second coat. You see the coverage is fantastic. Let's check it over with the camera. And using the camera and using this trick is equivalent to turning off the lights and using the Astro sunlight gun. It just shows you essentially the same thing. Looking at it again from all angles, it looks really good. I mean, my blend is really good in this area. I can see though, it's kind of light right in here. And that's something that's kind of hard to pick up by the naked eye, but the camera exaggerates it just a little bit more. So you kind of get an idea, hey, there's something there I need to do. Even when I'm filming sometimes, when I see myself through the lens of the camera itself, when I'm looking at my job, I can tell, hey, I need something right here or I need something right there, but a really good handy trick. Let's lay down our last coat and check it over. And basically our last line of defense. We got the Astro Sunlight Gun. I got my camera here. This is what it's gonna look like when it's out in the sun. And that's when it's gonna show you, hey, did you do a good job? What do you say, Paint Society? I think we're ready to clear this one. Let's get clearing. That came out really good. 
guys, check it out. That little camera trick really helps. It saves you because once you clear it, like we did here, if it doesn't look good, you gotta redo the whole thing. And sometimes if you get a bad blend here, while well, you're chasing it into the next door. And we all been down that road at least one point of our lives. So let's let this cure overnight and then we'll get it assembled the next day. And it's crazy and amazing how a simple cell phone can help you get out of a bind and recognize that blend, especially on those silver metallics. Guys, this is Brian from Paint Society reminding you, don't overthink it, it's just paint. Let's check it out. <laughs>